Okay, I'm here with Darren from Ecotype on the site in Monganui, Northland. <laughs> How's it going, Darren? Oh, good, mate. How's yeah, yourself? Good, good. So, tell us a bit about this house. It's a passive house, and we're in Monganui, Northland. Yes. Why, why would you build a passive house in Northland? Uh, to stay cool during the day, and also in the winter, it's not very hot, so it keeps you nice and toasty if you're at home all day in the winter. Yeah. Very good. And what are some of the main features of this house? Um, uh, that are different from um, the sun. Yeah, sorry, different from you know your sort of a New Zealand building code house. Oh, we've got more insulation. Yep. Um, we've got uh, airtight vapor membrane, vapor control layer, which is uh, stopping any uh, moisture getting out and also keeping us nice and airtight. So a high level of airtightness. Yep. To, and then we have an MHRV system that will. Uh, Running, going to be running through there. Running through there to transfer your air and uh, catch all your lost heat and okay. give you fresh air the whole time. And then we've also got our um, passive house joinery. This is European style tilt and turn. And on this particular house, which is a bit different to others, we've got a, if you want to ventilate your home, we've got a pull down and insect mesh that you can pull down and keep the bugs out at night if you want okay. the doors open and then we've also got external drop down roller blinds on the outside that Hard will, uh, keep the sun out and uh, keep the eyeballs out from prying neighbours if you have any <laughs> so better to keep the heat out than to uh, yeah, stop so it getting in the exactly yeah yeah so there's some on the all the northerly aspects and easterly aspects that really do can lower them a bit in the summer and that will keep your your house cool Bit of a like in, like for example in southern Europe would be the same thing. You'd have shutters for a little while to keep the, the sun out. Yeah. Yep. Okay. What uh, what uh, what's the R value of the insulation? And well, the walls if you come, and the come over to here, Richard, and it's all written right here for us. Ta da! So in the roof, we've got 4.1 and a low of 1.4, so that gives us a total of 5.5. 5.5. Very good. And in the walls, we have a 2.8 dense bat and then a 1.4 on the service cavity that runs around the inside of the walls. Yeah. Okay, because they 4.2. Yeah. So it's well insulated. It's a, well insulated, yes. Yeah, so this house, yep. you could, if you on a bit more of a budget, you could, well, not that it matters too much of insulation, you could probably shave a little bit off that, just on the walls maybe. Yep. But then your um, energy per square meter would go up a bit. I think okay. this house should probably hover about five or six, I think hours per square meter per annum that's pretty good so it's a because of the climate it's quite favorable it means you can achieve the standard a lot lot easier than you would do with somewhere cold so yeah it's a really easy easy it's, it's a bit beneficial and helpful to get your targets like that yeah excellent thanks to darren and good luck with the, with the rest of the build oh thanks richard good to see you cheers cool. <laughs>